everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of The Civil Canadian. I'm Scotty V. Now, what I got for you today is something different because I looked all over the news and there's nothing worth t talking about. Uh, there's no news from Marvel or DC besides this whole Harley Quinn thing, but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, so, because recently uh, it gave Superman or the Man of Steel on TV, I'm like, hey, you know what would be a great idea? Let's... Let me talk about who is my favorite Superman. Now, I may rank them as well because I'm only going to talk about the movie Supermans. So I'm not talking about um, the movie, the Superman from the TV shows from Supergirl, Smallville, none of those guys. Um, I'm just going to talk about the movie ones and um, yeah, so we're going to go from there. So now, um, one of my favorites here, um, I, Brandon Ralph, he did it, uh, he did from like the thing is with him is he's like a, a, a like a clone of Christopher Reeves because when he put on that Superman suit back in 2006 Superman Returns I was like holy crap he looks exactly like Christopher Reeves and I guess it's I guess Superman Returns was a continuation of of uh, Superman for the quest for peace I think that movie was called which was a disaster but um he could have been so much more than what he actually was. Um, I don't blame him because later on he would become Superman again on the Crisis of Infinite Earths uh, uh, show crossover thing. <laughs> um, which he played um, Kingdom Come Superman, which he did a great job. He actually had a little bit more to work with than what he did with uh, Superman Returns. So, Brandon Ralph, b besides him looking identical... Uh, to Christopher Reeves, and he just didn't bring the the the, the aspects and the character of Superman. I, I didn't believe him. He was like, put on the put on the Superman costume with the undies on, and just be like Christopher Reeves. I didn't like that too much. Um, so that's why, and I didn't really connect with him. I didn't feel an emotional care, uh, connection with Brown and Ralph's Superman, which later I did feel the connection with him once he uh, was Kingdom Come Superman in the crossover with the, with the Flash and Supergirl. So he's the bottom of my list, so he's obviously not my favorite. Um, now, it's going to be either between Christopher Reeves or um, Henry Cavill. Which a lot of you are going to... It's like... It might start a war between the fans, right? Like, who's the better Superman? Uh, Christopher Reeves or uh, Henry Cavill? It's really... You can't really please everybody, right? So, my favorite Superman between the two, between Christopher Reeves and uh, Henry Cavill is Henry Cavill. I said it. He is my Superman. I'll tell you why. Uh, this movie came out back in 2013. So, I was... Um, I was reading to the superhero thing. I've always been into superheroes. Just Superman really wasn't there for me. Like, compared to Spider-Man, I've seen Spider-Man since the early iterations of the character uh, from Tobey Maguire's version. So I connected with that, that character. Even before the Spider-Man movies, I did connect with Spider-Man. But because I was a, I was a teenager, I, uh, I was just... I think I was in high school when this movie came out. I was kind of like I was kind of down. Like I'm shy. I still am today, which I didn't like really talking to people. And as a teenager, you're trying to find who you are, right? You're trying to find your identity. And with Henry Cavill Superman, it was exactly on point and how I related to him. He was a superhuman who was from another planet, which obviously I cannot relate because I'm not from another planet. None of us are. Um, He's just struggling to find his identity. He's trying to figure out, what do I do? Do I show my powers to the world? Or do I hide them from the world? Right? And he actually hid his powers for a long time. Even throughout the film, we, we saw him grow up. Right? Um, when he was a young kid, uh, we saw him um, being bullied. Because he's, he's not used to the Earth's atmosphere and the Earth's uh, sun. So he would see the bones in people's hands, their heartbeats, their everything, their liver, everything. And that would freak him out. And obviously he would go run away and hide. And he would need his mother to uh, comfort him. Right? Just like me. If I didn't feel right, if I was bullied or whatever, obviously I would try to run to my mother. Like, who wouldn't? Right? Um... But as he was getting older, he he realized that 
people are endangered. He needs to help the people. But when he was a young boy in the school bus, the school bus kind of popped its tires or whatever happened. And the bus actually went into the water and he saved everybody. And then the parents were like, Leo, oh, your kid just saved everybody. How can a little kid pull out a bus from from the water like that? And then his father is like, hey, you, we know you have great power, but you have to hide it from the world. The world may not accept you for who you are. And I'm like, whoa, really? That was that was pretty crazy what I what I saw because it, it was just it, I related to him right because how what I believe um, people don't want to hear it right they they fear it I don't know why but they they were scared of him right and and he was scared of the world and what the world might think of him and I was the exact same way like I was scared to walk in public and like hey this person says this about me or if I go type this on the internet help. People are, hate me because of this. You know what? I related to that. I was, I had that fear. I was scared that people would judge me because I was different, right? So that's why I related to Superman, Henry Cavill Superman more. Because as he grew up, he learned to accept who he was. And then he became who he became, Superman. And then caused all this destruction, which I love in movies, by the way. I like, I like superheroes fighting in cities like the Avengers. And then, um... In, when they were fighting in cities against aliens which Superman did but the Avengers are not aliens they were humans fighting against aliens but in this case Superman was fighting alien versus alien right um, a lot of people got that film gave a lot of backlash because of the destruction of the city who cares it's a movie it's not real life but anyways that's why I liked Christopher uh, or sorry uh, Henry Cavill's Superman more than the other ones just because um I related to him. That's all. You heard my reasons. And the visual effects were obviously amazing. Um, but that's a wholly different thing. I liked I liked the visual effects. Like, you know, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, this film was directed by Zack Snyder, which I forgot to mention, by the way. Um, it was great. This was a darker tone of the Superman characters because we're all used to Superman being all hope and all joyful and all that kind of stuff. Not in today's world. Not in today's uh, society. Everybody's doom and gloom for whatever reason. So... That's why um, Henry Cavill is my favorite Superman because at that time I related to him and then uh, even his story arc throughout Justice League and uh, Batman v Superman, people hated him. Batman hated him. What did Batman do? Batman kind of just went, uh, hey, I'm going to kill you because you just you killed so many people, but that technically was not his fault. So that's why Superman, uh, Henry, Henry Cavill Superman is my favorite Superman. Christopher Reeves was great for that time. Whenever that those movies came out in the sixties uh, or eighties, I don't even know when that film came. Those in the year those films came out, but um, it was just Christopher Reeves Superman. At, during the time of its release, was great for the visual effects were great at the time, but he was just too cheesy for me. I I did rewatch it. My favorite Superman movie from Christopher Reeves is Superman Two, when he had to fight General Zod. Um, that was my favorite Superman movie from his uh, generation or his iteration of Superman, but um, it was just too cheesy, too too up there, too it it seemed too fake to to me, right? Obviously, these movies are fake, but um, just Henry Cavill related to me more than Brandon Routh and Christopher Reeve Superman for me. Henry, Christopher Reeves like changed the game for superhero movies, no doubt. Like he's the he's a, one of the reasons why Superman or Superman the character and superheroes in general are great, right? So that's why Christopher Reeves paved the way for Superman, but Henry Cavill is my favorite just because I related to him, I related to him more. Warner Brothers, please for the love of God, please make Man of Steel 2 or Superman 2, whatever you want to call it. We all want to see Superman 2 because He's great. Yeah, Superman is overpowered and not many enemies can take him down. But that's why there's writers out there. There's us comic book fans. We know how to dumb him down a bit and how the villain can take him out a bit. Just like how Zack Snyder did with uh, Superman in Man of Steel. General Zod for a while was kicking his ass. So you, you can do it. So um, I have a Twitter poll that is up right now. Um, head over to our Twitter page, The Civil Canadians slash twitter um i have a poll going on who is the best movie superman let me know 
Um, what do you guys think? Right now, Henry Cavill, during the time of this video, Henry Cavill is winning. Uh, so just head over there if you have a Twitter account. Hit a, hit the vote so like this. Uh, I can post it later on at the final result. So that's all for me. Henry Cavill, obviously my favorite Superman. I didn't have uh, Christopher Reeves close second and Brandon Roth a third. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know who you guys think is the best Superman. Um, if you guys have any, if you guys have any video ideas, let me know down in the comments down below um, for video ideas, anything you want. Uh, I'm I'm all ears. So um, see you soon. Be good. I'll see you next week. Um, so my work, well, my schedule is gonna sort of go back to normal. So I'm gonna be working. Um, so nothing's really gonna change. I'm just gonna do a video once a week, like I've been doing. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. See you soon, be good.